Today I want to talk to you about will. The will inside of you has to be a lot stronger than the will not. Will you be able to do something? Will you not be able to? That's all dependent on you and how much you want to do something. Your will, your determination, your drive, your desire to see a task completed, your dedication to doing what's necessary to completing the task, your commitment to doing the things even when it's tiring, exhausting, and your dedication drive, everything's going down. You gotta be committed. A lot of people nowadays just lack will. They are very weak-minded. They're not determined. Not dedicated. Not driven. Not committed. They have a weak will. Very weak composition. It's just the way that society seems to be making people. Making us very comfortable and at the same time anxious. When we're not comfortable, we freak out. If we can't sit there and do whatever we want and watch TV and do all the stupid things that actually disconnect us further from one another. And then when we're close to people, we wonder where anxiety and depression comes from. We lack the composition to do what's necessary to be the best version of ourselves. Some of us don't have the will that's necessary to actually make it in life. Like, listen, everyone can go to work somewhere and get some money to pay for things that they may or may not need to try and live to a certain life that they think is something they should be living. And it's not, and they know that. But, or maybe they don't, but they just keep doing it because they want to be comfortable. How about you get uncomfortable for a while and push the envelope of your existence? Push the person inside of you to come out. Believe that it's time to blossom. And don't worry about the people closest to you and around you who tell you you can't do things. Because those people, they don't want to see you grow. They don't want to see you be better than them. It's just the way it is, like, because we're all a reflection of one another and what's inside one another. If one of us is working harder than the rest, it's going to be noticeable. It's going to put pressure on us that we might not want. So what are we going to do? We're going to deflect our energy onto some project shit. I mean, just stupid things that people will do to get out of doing what's necessary for themselves. Now, if you go to someone else seeking help, um, that's good. But how much help are you willing to allow them? Like, I need help sometimes. That's cool. But I won't take any more help than I need. Like, I'll do all the work on my own if necessary. I'll spend days alone, weeks alone, what, however much time I have to be alone, I'll be alone. I don't want to imposition anyone or bother anybody. I'm responsible enough to take care of all the tasks I need to. Physical, emotional, psychological, spiritual, all these things. I don't need someone there to handle for me. But if I need help with something, I need help. Or if I need some information on getting a resource to make myself a better version of myself, I'm willing to listen to people that know more about certain topics than me because that's how I can grow and learn more. Here's the thing. When you take care of yourself physically, mentally things fall in line. When your body's operating at its peak performance level, that means your brain will be healthy too. So this is a good thing. Like we have to work out literally all of our demons work out exercise our demons it's not a coincidence that that's the term they use so when you exercise regularly and you have a strong will and composition to show up and you're committed to that part of your life that martial art of keeping your body fit and healthy 
everything's gonna fall in line. I mean, I'm, it's just the way it is. It's one thing after another. You're exercising your demons. Anything inside of you, work it out. Literally, exercise yourself to exhaustion so you're not carrying around that negative energy inside of your body. You can literally get negative energy out by exhausting yourself physically in a healthy way. Not in an abusive way where you're doing drugs, alcohol, um, you know, distracting yourself from what you need to be doing. No, actually looking at the tasks you need to do and having the will to push through what you have to in order to get what you need to done because that's what's required. A lot of people want options. Oh, I can't do that because of this or that. I don't have time because of this or that. Man, excuses are like assholes. Everybody has one and they all stink. So just leave it alone and leave it at home and let's go. I mean, you've got a, a day to live every day, hopefully. One day you won't. So today, have the will to get through what you have to. Just get through it. You can. You have before every other day of your life. What's so different about today? What's harder today about something may be harder today than it was yesterday. But guess what? You'll push through. You will find a way. You need to be determined. And have the will within yourself to know that what you need to do will get done. All right, now go get them. It's up to you.